When I was building my first two infinity mirrors, I started playing around with them and I noticed some interesting effects. Today I'll be explaining how infinity mirrors work. I will also be going over some of the effects that can be made with them. For an infinity mirror, you'll need at least three things. A light source, a mirror, and a partially transparent mirror. Normally the mirror will have its reflective surface on the outside of the glass. This would be the back of the infinity mirror. The partially transparent mirror can have its reflective surface on the outside of the glass or the inside. Typically it will be a layer of film that is applied to it. So having it on the inside protects the film from scratches. Then when the light source turns on, the light reflects between the two mirrors. Actually, it reflects between the reflective surfaces. It reflects back and forth in between, but on the partially transparent side, some of the light gets out. This is the light that you see from the outside. Each time the light escapes from the reflections, it gets dimmer inside. For the infinity mirrors that I made, I did it a little bit different though. Instead of a regular mirror and a partially transparent mirror, I used two partially transparent mirrors. Then when the light comes on, it still reflects off both sides, and light would escape from both sides. This allowed me to have the two-sided effect that I was trying to get. This got me thinking. If I needed a light source and two reflective surfaces, what if both of the reflective surfaces were on one piece of glass? When the light turns on, some of that light would pass through the first surface, then reflect between both surfaces. Obviously, some of the light would reflect away at first, but the light that does pass through should result in an infinity effect. Now let's try that out and see if it actually does. Here I have it built and when I turn it on, great! seems to work. But then I remember, I have a back piece of glass on here. This back glass is clear and has no reflective film on it at all. The reflections you see are just from the natural reflections of clear glass. Without that glass, it looks like there may be some effect. This camera doesn't like the bright light, so let's get a better view. There is a little bit of an effect, but it's almost unnoticeable. It kind of just looks like a blur. After thinking about why this is, I realized that there are two causes for this issue. First, most of the light is reflecting away from the back. Next is the thickness of the glass. It's only two millimeters thick, so there isn't much of a distance to separate the reflections. Next, let's see what a few changes can make. Here I have my two-sided infinity mirror from two different angles. You can see how the reflections look using two partial mirrors. Let's replace that back panel for a regular mirror to see the difference it makes. This effect is much better. It's brighter, more clear, and it goes deeper. Now for the cool part, adding the partial mirror back in, but leaving the normal mirror too. It looks a bit blurry, but if I lift the two-sided infinity mirror away from the normal mirror, it stretches it out. I can even move it around and make the title appear to turn and curve. Even without the back partial mirror, I can get a stretching effect when lifting it. But I like that effect better with both partial mirrors in place. And since I use plastic for my partial mirror in the front, I can bend the plastic with a little bit of pressure to warp the tunnel. 
but do not try to bend and warp glass like this. That's all for now. I'm still going to explore more options with this. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave a comment and let me know. I would love to hear them.